Top 8 Deadliest Cats Cats are some of the most effective predators in the world. The fact that so many unique species spread across the earth is the result of over a dozen migrations across the Bering Strait. Stretching over millions of years is a demonstration that their basic anatomy can translate well into a wide variety of environment fossil record analyzed in 2015. It then suggests that the effectiveness of feline species to become apex predators in the environment may have stifled the growth and differentiation of contemporary canines. One, black-footed cat. Black-footed cat. Felis nigripes is the deadliest cat in the world, with a hunting success rate of 60%. The most successful predator in the world may be the dragonfly thanks to its recorded hunting success rate of 95%, so it shouldn't come as a complete surprise that the most dangerous cat on the wild is also one of the smallest species. Weighing barely three pounds and hailing from South Africa, the black-footed cat is the top predator for birds and mice within its savanna ecosystem. As lion stalk gazelles and wildebeest, the black-footed cat uses its exceptional night vision and hearing to hunt exclusively under the cover of darkness and takes advantage of its tiny body to slink carefully through the tall grass, but success rates of 60% might actually be a necessity for this predators. Two, cheetah. Cheetah are also known for being highly maneuverable and can shift with their prey's movements almost seamlessly. But the threat from other big cats is a demonstration that being a successful hunter doesn't always mean that you can keep that prey. Despite the risk of overheating in the harsh African sun, cheetahs tend to hunt during dusk, dawn, or daytime to prevent their kill. 3. Leopard The Amur leopard has been considered one of the rarest cats on Earth. In 2007, it was estimated that only 19 to 26 wild leopards were living in southeastern Russia and northeastern China. Leopards takes a different approach to avoiding territorial aggression or poaching from hyenas, lions, and other big cats. They simply bring their meals into the trees where they can eat unmolested by the more terrestrial threats, for they aren't the biggest cats on their planet. These felines have powerful bodies that can drag carcasses weighing over a hundred pounds straight up a tree trunk. Leopards are opportunistic hunters who primarily chase ungulates like impala and gazelles, but they're not above going after mice or birds or even venturing into the waters to go fishing. Their diet can range from monkeys to warthogs to porcupines. They aren't above even snacking on cheetah cubs when the opportunity strikes. Through their fast enough to reach speeds of nearly 40 miles per hour, these deadliest cats prefer to use their camouflaged fur to sneak close to their prey and then kill them with a single bite of their powerful jaws. Four, domesticated cat. A young cat hunting a butterfly in a meadow. Domesticated cats are very effective at hunting for rats and other pests, making them one of thetedliest cats. While it can be easy to think of dogs and cats have become civilized over the course of domestication, it's important to remember that cats domesticated themselves by being so effective at hunting for rats and other pests in and near human settlements. Their popularity as pets has grown all over the world, but that prodigious spread has also allowed them to become one of the world's deadliest non-native invasive species. 
through they occupy very small territories often consisting of one or two suburban yards feral and outdoor pet cats can utterly devastate rodent and bird communities within those bubbles when looking at these territories in aggregate domesticated cats shave the potential to change a biome dramatically even if they only kill rally one in their animals they hunt Five lion. Lions are one of the deadliest cats, although their hunting statistics are not the best. It's no coincidence that lions enjoy a low overall success rate as hunters, while also employing group tactics to bring down prey. Wolf packs are only successful in roughly one out of ten hunts, but their strength in numbers and the cost of splitting a meal doesn't matter nearly so much when that meal is a fat caribou. Lions engage in similar tactics, using ambush techniques to get as close to a herd of prey animals as possible and then working together to take down the weakest and most vulnerable members fleeing. Without the speed of the cheetah or stealth of the jaguar, lions have developed different hunting techniques. Yet despite not being the most successful hunter in the cat family lions, still, Fear little other than packs of hyenas, making it clear that hunting rates aren't necessarily a perfect statistics for identifying the most dangerous cat species. Six, puma. A puma is an ambush predator. Although their hunting success rate is not that good, they are still one of the deadliest cats out there. If you want our direct comparison between the success rates of felines and canines look no further than the relationship between pumas and wolves. As ambush predators that get as close as possible to their prey before striking, pumas enjoy both a higher success rate and higher overall volume of kills than wolves. That comes down to hunting strategies, with pumas being more paddy and ambush predators and wolves working together to harry and wear down prey. But being a successful hunter doesn't mean representing the top of the social hierarchy in an environment, because while wolves may have comparatively dismal success rates hunting, they actively kill puma cubs and freeze adult mountain lions out of hunting grounds when the territory between these two predators overlap. Seven tiger tigers are always the apex predators in their ecosystem, and definitely one of the deadliest cats. The success rate of tiger is a good reminder of what an important factor prey availability is. While a tiger's success rates in the wild will normally hover between 10 and 20 percent, they're still apex predators in their ecosystem. Smaller predators like doles and leopards typically find themselves having to defer to the local tiger populations, and tigers are prone to maintaining large territories so that prey sources are always available. That's the privilege of being the biggest and most dangerous animal within the biome. It helps that tigers only need to eat about once a week, and rarely have to worry about other predators stealing with meals. But in environments like Russia, where larger game and snowy environments rival tigers may exhibit success rates approaching or even surpassing half when hunting boar or red deer, in either case, a tiger is almost always the most dangerous cat in its habitat. Eight, bobcat. The bobcat's success as predators has allowed them to become the most populous wildcat in North America, and also one of the deadliest cats. They might not be the biggest cat in the world, but the roughly 40-pound bobcat is definitely enough to pose a threat to both humans and their pets and their success as predators.
has allowed them to become the most populous wildcat in North America. S generalist predators that are capable of hunting large ungulates but don't need them to survive. Bobcats can subsist on everything from mice and small birds to deer, that's allowed them to pose a danger to practically any prey animals in their environment, but it's ultimately a win for the natural. In a manner similar to coyotes, the highly adaptable bobcat can slot nicely into an existing habitat and provide balanced set population control in areas lacking predator species. Thanks for watching.